Hi everybody, this is Osprey from MyTruckCoach.com and in this video we're going to take a look at the Canadian marijuana sector. So we're going to take a look at the uh, top Canadian stocks here. Um, we've got quite a good list here for you. Um, there, there's several uh, good plays. Um, we'll look here first at TWMJF. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the daily chart first and then I'm going to show you the weekly chart and then you can see how the entire sector in Canada is breaking out. Um, keep in mind they are going to be legalizing marijuana in uh, 2018 and so uh, you know the stocks have just been in a super strong uptrend. First up you can take a look here at Canopy Growth. They are the number one marijuana company in the world. Uh, they are uh, on a very very strong uptrend right now and, and so as you can see here the candles are riding EMA4 support higher as long as the EMA4 support is holding the, the signals to keep riding once there's a close below you could see consolidation and a possible pullback for those that missed the run that might be your opportunity to get back in we're looking at any kind of pullback for this stock as a loading opportunity notice the big volume came in when uh, Constellation Brands announced that they are taking a 10% stake or took a 10% take and uh, 10% stake in at Canopy Growth for uh, $200 million. So this has really ignited the sector. Um, notice that the high is at uh, 17 now, and so that is going to be the key level to break. You know, th this is going on blue sky breakout mode, so the only resistance right now are these upper wicks here. It, it, it's a breaking out to all-time new highs. The signal's just to keep riding. This is a long-term uh, swing trade for us. Uh, you know, we, we alerted everyone uh, way back here when it was down in dollar land and uh, it, you notice it's been heading up higher ever since when it pulled back and it hit this five here you know I put out big alerts that that five was the reload level it came down hit five perfectly in June and it's been up ever since and so if you look here this is the so this is the weekly chart this week it broke out above the all-time high okay so that that was a super strong move if you look back here in November of 2016 it had made an all-time high here around 1450 and so this week it broke and closed above that level. So super, super strong, um, giant volume. Look at the volume behind the move. So volume is increasing as the share price is heading higher. You know, more uh, players can get involved when the, when the share, you know, institutional investors can get involved when the share price is at higher levels. Um, so right now, 17 is the big level. If you see it uh, failing to break 17, you could see the candles work back in the bands. Once again, our strategy, and the reason why this has been a long-term hold, is because look at EMA4 currently down here at 13.05. The candles have been riding above this level the entire time since, since it broke above. Okay, so after the five bottom call, notice this candle here in June closed above EMA4. That level turned into support and it has not closed below that level since. It, so for us, as long as that level holds, the signals to keep riding. You can trade the spikes, you know, you could try to sell the, 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 the spike and reload on the dip, but if you're just looking for some type of long-term hold, this is the type of chart you're looking for. Candles riding EMA4 support higher on the weekly chart above the middle bent Bollinger Band above all the moving averages. Look, it's above the 50 and the 100. The 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 simple moving averages, uh, the the 200 and 300 week moving averages are undefined. So yeah, so so with uh, the, the with Canopy Growth taking off, you have Aurora Cannabis, which is argu arguably the number two cannabis company in the world. And, and here they are uh, breaking out um, once again. We put out some excellent alerts. You know, not trying to pat myself on the back, but I'm just re recommending people to follow our plays and to spend some time on our website because if you're in our chat, you will be on top of these great plays. If you look here, October 30th, we put out alerts that this was breaking the metal Bollinger Band. It, you know, the, the strategy was that, you know, has been this, it, this has been a long-term play for us, but but it, this was the signal to really get in when, when Canopy Growth had that big investment. You knew that everybody would be looking at the other players. This was lagging behind. It was only around 800 million when, when, it, when it started taking off here. You know, now it has over a billion dollar valuation. Notice that it's been on a, incredible run since that call on October 30th. You know, I, I believe, what is that? Eight, eight ten uh, green candles in a row. And, and so now this week's candle pushed well above the upper Bollinger Band. This is on a blue sky breakout as well. Uh, 390 is the big level to break. Um, it, it, you know, once again, once it closes below EMA4 at 326, that's your signal the chart's cooling down. And then you could possibly look for a reload lower. There are some unfilled gaps below. So that's something to keep in mind on, an eye on. Um, if there is some consolidation, you know, there's a gap right here down in the 270s and then there's another gap down here in the uh, 240s 240 to 250 range so yeah so so once again look at the big volume volume increase in the share price is heading higher let's look at the weekly chart 
So what I did was I, I, I um, you know, started getting into this and I was posting, you know, there's there's like five top plays five or six, you know, that we're really following quite, quite closely. But there's other stocks within the sector that 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 that, that are Canadian that, that that trade over the counter. And, and so I just did a quick little Google search and this thing came up here with the 10 uh, top Canadian marijuana stocks for your portfolio. It's from back in October 12th. Uh, you can check it out on Investopedia. It, it goes through the top 10 stocks. And what I did is I just posted the information from the stock on, on some of these uh, charts. And so as you look here, uh, you know, ACBFF has got the information from Investopedia on here, just so you can see, uh, you know, read that on the chart. Um, so check it out. It, it's breaking out above all time highs here. This is a legit blue sky breakout. If you look back here, this was the beginning of trading back here in 2014. And, and so the all time high was back here in November of 2016. It closed above that level this week. We're talking blue sky breakout. Look on giant volume. That's that's why I've been alerting these plays to everyone um, is because they're, th this is these are legit m marijuana companies that have licenses from the Canadian government. So this is these are legit and they're breaking out higher and now they're getting institutional investment. Let's look at HPHQF. Um, okay, so notice it, it, it's breaking out as well. It has this nice strong uptrend. You know, this is arguably the third top uh, uh, marijuana company. And, and, and so this week there was a big break above the high close resistance on the daily chart. So so notice that that. The the, the high close for this, the all-time high close was this candle right here on the 6th. Okay, so then it, this week, the, the break above that close, above that level on Friday, that that signals that it wants to head higher. And so now the big level is this 7 resistance zone. You know, once again, as long as it's riding the EMA4, keep riding the swing trade. Once it closes below EMA4, you could get a pullback. Notice how long it rode EMA4 down here. Um, it was riding EMA's 4 and 8 support ever since the middle Bollinger Band level broke. You know, it came down and it held EMA 8, you know, and then once it finally got below EMA 4 on this candle, it signaled some downside risk. But but notice the 50-day simple moving average has been holding. This is a super strong uptrend. We're looking for a breakout above 7. If you look here on the APHQF weekly chart, you can see here the, the close this week above the all-time uh, high close, which was, uh, or all-time high level, which was back here in, in 2000, uh, what is that, uh, April of 2017. It hit a all-time high. It closed above that level this week. That signals more upside potential. I'm sorry this chart is hard to read because of this fat finger that you know it messes up the chart when you get a long lower wick like that. But but the point is is this the candles have been riding EMA 4 support higher. They, they did come down and test EMA 13 support in October and that held. And, and so as long as the candles are staying above this dotted purple line, which is the middle Bollinger Band at 516, it signals the uptrend is intact and it's good for a longer term hold. Okay, so let's look at at MEDFF. Okay, so this one is a newer company. Um, you know, it, I'll show you in a second the weekly chart. It, it hasn't been trading for that long, but it's been on an epic run. Okay, so it, it, it closed at all time, new all time highs on Friday. It made a new all time high. This is another, we, we, these stocks are on blue sky breakout mode. What is blue sky breakout? That's when a stock is trading above all the resistance on the chart. That there's, it's, it's trading above the, the entire prior history of the stock and it's, and it's charting, uh, you know, it's going through, uh, it's breaking out into uncharted territory. And, and so, you know, it's, it, you, you, what you have to do is you got to follow the, the intraday charts and once those break down that's a signal the charts cooling down but you know as long as this daily chart if you look here all these candles have been riding above EMA4 they came down and held the EMA8 here but but the uh, the key is is this uptrend has been intact even when the middle Bollinger Band was tested here it held you know ever since there was a breakout after the uh, tight Bollinger Bands back here in September the stock has been on one heck of an uptrend you can see the Elliott waves here one two three four five so this could be the fifth big push and then you know you could see a corrective wave we just have to see uh, how this plays out you know there is a gap below and, and so for a lot of these uh, 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 Canadian marijuana stocks you know you have to look at the pullbacks as a, as a loading opportunity and, and so you know if this pulls back to the 275 1075 level that might be a good uh, entry if you miss the boat if you can get it all the way down here around nine dollars and fill this gap down here that could be another great entry um, you know as long as th this uh, weekly chart is still strong you can 
can see here on the weekly chart that the, the stock started trading in June. You know, it traded sideways. And then notice how once it turned EMAs 4 and 8 into support here, it's just been riding EMA 4 ever since. And, and so there is a gap um, between uh, high of week last week and low of week this week. And so once again, look at that 1075 level. If it dropped down to 1075, it would fill the gap. And then you can see down here that other gap down around $9. And so those are always targets on a, on a pullback to shoot for are the gap fills. Um, you know, as long as this EMA4 supports holding, it's signaling more upside potential. It's getting pretty uh, lofty here, though, uh, uh, busting out higher uh, on a million shares. Notice it was the largest trading week in the history of the stock. Okay, let's look at IMLFF. This has been on an epic run as well. Um, notice here it, it's been uh, forming multiple white candles in a row. And so your big uh, bull signal was, and we did put out alerts on this, was once again on, on October the 31st. It, it closed above the middle Bollinger Band, and then that signaled the start of a new uptrend. And notice how the pink line's been holding ever since. And so it's just been right. It, sometimes these it, it, it can be really easy if you get a good entry point and then you just follow the charts and just don't over trade. If the stock is holding support, you can continue riding. So yeah, it, it, you know the candles this week did push well above the upper Bollinger Band on Friday. It, you know EMA four is the big support level to hold. As long as it's holding uh, forty seven EMA four there, it, it signals more upside. If it closes below, you could see a pullback. It, as long as this uh, two hundred fifty and twenty day simple moving averages hold, the uptrend should continue okay let's look at o g r m f f and uh yeah oh man i should have put in the the i m l f f weekly chart for you here i'm just going to do that real quick so you can um um see that let's see here just real quick for you because this will whoops this will help um ah oh man okay sorry about that let's check this out real quick um yeah and then you're going to be able to see the uh the big breakout so let's look here. Okay. Okay, so yeah, so if we look at the weekly chart here, you can see that it's setting up for the breakout. And so this one is interesting because, um, you know, it's still below a dollar. Um, you know, it's still a, just a penny stock. It hasn't like gotten to some crazy lofty levels yet. And as you can see here on the weekly chart, it needs to break above the, the, the 60 cents level. Okay. So if you see a breakout above 66 or above 60, a weekly close above 60 cents, that's going to signal, all, you know, that it's ready to break out higher. And, and, and as you can see here, this, this is a nice strong uptrend that started back here in September when the, the, the middle Bollinger Band and the 50 day simple or 50 week simple moving average turned into support. So look for a break above 60 this week to signal IMLFF wants to break out higher. Okay, so look at OGRMF. Okay, so once again it is uh, breaking out above uh, resistance. So you've got the uh, you have the uh, support and then you have uh, resistance here. And then once again, notice on Friday there was a key close above high close horizontal resistance. Okay, so this was the key level to break right here on October 9th. It closed above that level. When that happens, it signals more upside potential. Potential. You know, you had the golden cross here. Look how the 50-day simple moving average crossed the 200-day simple moving average to the upside. Notice how the 100-day simple moving average is crossing the 200. You know, it, it, it's got a lot of strength here. Um, it, it, you know, it's looking like it wants to break out higher. If we look at the weekly chart, this one's showing some upside potential. Um, you could see that that uh, 270 is the next big level. That was the high close from back here in November of 2016. It's this about, you know, between 270 and 280, maybe 275 or so. If it can get above that level you could see a run all the way up here to 340 to test the uh, the the all-time high so so keep an eye on OGRMF it has a nice uptrend going it, it's been trading in a sideways channel of sorts in in the last um, year year and a year and a few months and so it, you know it bought, bounced off the bottom of the channel ran back up to the top know how notice how it double topped at that 275 level then it pulled back held support for a double bottom and then now it's working its way back up many times when you when you hit the level for the third time it breaks out higher. So it's either going to triple top at 275 or it's going to break out above that level. So this week, if you see OGRMF above 275, that's signaling the threes are in deck and it could possibly run up to 340s and test that all time high. So take a look at ATTBF here. Um, you know, it, it, it's it, it's a, it's a penny stock as well, and it's got this sideways channel going on, on the daily chart. Notice how it's been sideways for a while. 
All the moving averages are all converged together here. If you look over here, you can see that the moving averages are, are, are basically between 13 and 15 cents. So right now, the close at 15 is above all the moving averages on this chart. It's not a pretty chart because it's been trading sideways. But what we're looking for now, because notice it closed above the middle Bollinger Band and the, and the 50 day simple moving average two days in a row to end the week. We want to see those levels turn into support and a new upturn to begin. If you see the stock break above the, the 17 to 17 five resistance zone and get a close above above that level above 1725 that's going to be your signal that it's breaking out of this long channel and it wants to head higher if you look at the weekly chart it's showing some upside potential here if you look at uh, the, the the level we talked about that 17 that that's lining up here with this closing price in in April and then the upper Bollinger band and then the big level of the break is up here around 20 cents just above 20 uh, you know 22 23 that's the high close from back here in April April of 2017. If it can close above that level, that'll be a clear breakout of this, uh, you know, multi-month sideways channel. And then we'll be talking about this 30 zone from the top of this wick, and then it could possibly run back up to Dollarland. So if you if you see ATTBF get up in the 20s and it breaks above for the week, you and it hits those 30s, you know, it could be on its way to Dollarland. So keep an eye on it. Okay, SPRWF. Take a look at this stock here. It's turning the middle Bollinger Band into support and it's trying to get a new uptrend going. Okay, so it pulled back. It broke middle Bollinger Band support back here in October. It found big support. Notice once again, all the moving averages are converged at the same level. Okay, so they're, they're all between 109 and 114. At 119, the, the share price is currently above all the moving averages. It's above the middle Bollinger Band. It's above the 50-day simple moving average. The candles are riding EMA for support higher that is as bullish as it gets okay so if it stays above all those levels it can't get any more bullish that's it it's super freaking bullish now if it closes below that's going to signal more consolidation and downside risk as long as it stays above this 112 level right now it's it's signaling it wants to head higher and then 130 is the big level to break. If you see it break above that October 9th closing price at 130, that's going to signal that it wants to break out higher. If you look at the SPRWF uh, weekly chart, you can see here that there's that one, uh, you know, 28, 130 level right here. And, and so if it can get above that, the really big level to break is the high close, which is back here in November of 2016 at 140. So if you see SPRWF trading above 140, that's going to be a very bullish development and, and you could see it run back up here to test this 250 high so that's what that's the deal it, it, it is what we're doing now it, is we showed you the big top dogs you know canopy growth aurora you know a aphqf like all, all the big dogs that we've been following and posting a lot of charts we've been showing you these epic runs and then what you want to do is you want to find the laggards you want to find the the canadian stocks that are still real companies that that have yet to participate in the rally and so one to keep an eye on is EMMBF. You know, this thing might heat up. The chart isn't pretty yet. Uh, keep an eye on it this week for a close above the middle Bollinger Band at 130. If it can close above 130, th then that's going to put it in play for us. It's not in play yet, but it's setting up. A and then it, what it has to do is it has to get above this, this 139 resistance level. Once it's above this green line, that's going to signal more upside potential and a possible start of a new uptrend. And then you could see here there's a gap on the chart. It's kind of hard to see where the top of that wick is. But Basically, um, you know, this 147 level here is the uh, the the top the bottom of the the gap, and so you could see a run between 130 and 147. If it could break that, it could fill the gap up to 152, and then you've got the 200-day uh, simple moving average up here at 168. So keep an eye on EMMBF. If you look at the weekly chart here, you could see this is a, a newly traded stock. Okay, so it's only been around since December. So this is the 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 beginning of the trading for the stock, and then it had this really nasty pullback now look at the interesting development it's got what looks like a double bottom trying to form here you know it did close below that level but notice how it's holding the support levels from back here in July and June okay so you've got the bottom came back up came back down now it's trying to form what's called a double bottom if it holds the double bottom here if it can get back above this uh, low close 
which is right here, which it did, it closed above that level, you know, that's going to signal this might be a, a, a solid support level. You don't want to see the share price dropping below 120. Now, it closed below EMA4 at 129. It needs to break that level. Once it gets back above this middle Bollinger Band, currently at 140, uh, that would be, a, or 138, that would be a signal of possible new uptrend starting. So keep an eye on it. If it can get back above 138 and turn it into support, a possible new uptrend could begin. And as you can see on this chart, you know, the, 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 the you know, this had traded uh, not so long ago all the way up here at 340. So, you know, there's some upside potential if this could get an uptrend going. Okay, look at PRMCF. Okay, so this is uh, another stock that's trying to break out. Okay, so it's similar to the other stocks we were looking at that closed above resistance. But notice this stock is actually below the high close here on October 16th. And, and so it needs to close above that level to break out higher. So keep an eye on it. If you see a close above 277, a close in the 280s, that's going to be your signal that PRMCF is breaking out higher. So keep an eye on it. Um, if you look at the weekly chart here, the weekly chart is actually showing that, that it has already broken out above high close resistance from back here in uh, uh, February of 2017. That was the high close. The close above that level on the first week of October was your signal that it wanted to head higher. Notice how it filled the jar. It can, it, it hit that level in, in uh, February, came down, found support at 130, and then it filled the jar back up to this level. This is what we call the lid, the top of the jar. And so now it turned that level into support and it's breaking out higher. The, the close this week was the highest weekly close in the history of the stock. That signals more upside potential. Okay, let's look at EMHTF. This is another Canadian marijuana company. I did put in a request today for StockCharts.com to, to carry this stock. They sh it should be on there soon. So I'm showing you the stock scores chart, but you can see here it's got a super strong uptrend, and look how it's breaking out higher. You know, I believe this is making uh, new all-time highs as well. We can look at the max chart here, and now this is a monthly chart, and notice how it's it's breaking out to all-time highs. It had the all-time, you know, uh, yeah. This is another breakout play. So keep an eye on the EMHTF for a break above this high close, which is what's up here in the 160s. If you see a, a break above one. 65, that's going to be a signal that is heading higher. Okay, look at THCBF. Okay, so this stock is thinly traded. Okay, so you, we really like to focus on the stocks with more volume, but I am showing you this because it has had some volume in the past. You know, there was big volume back in August when it made a big run. Um, so th this is another, uh, you know, uh, 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 Canadian marijuana company. It's holding support right here. It's, it's currently trading above all the moving averages at 57. Okay, except for it's below the middle one band and the 50-day simple moving average. So if it can get above this uh, um, a cluster here, okay, so there's EMA, there's the 50-day simple moving average, EMAs 4, 8, 13, and the middle Bollinger Band, all here between uh, 58 and, and 59. And so if you see uh, THCBF trade above 59, if it's trading in the 60s next week, that's going to be the signal that's ready to get moving higher. And then you could see a run back up here to test 80 and the, the recent high close. So this is a stock that it looks like it's setting up and it might have some upside potential. And then look at ITHUF. Okay, here's a stock that that's another, uh, you know, it's a legit marijuana company. And, um, um, you know, you can see here they, they, they purchased a Colorado-based uh, marijuana company. And that has happened a lot. Uh, several of these uh, Canadian companies own United States marijuana companies. So keep that in mind. Canada is really way ahead of the, the U.S. Uh, companies. And, and if you look down here, um, it came down. It found support around 135. And then notice it's closed two, three days in a row to end the week above the middle Bollinger Band. As long as it stays above 160, that's the dotted purple line. That signals the possible new start of a, a, a possible start of a new uptrend. And then we're going to be looking for a run up here to the 50-day simple moving average at two dollars. Once it gets above these moving averages here, that's going to signal a breakout higher. The the 100-day uh, simple moving average at 217 is the top moving average on this chart. Once it's above that level, that signals it wants to break out higher. And look what we have down here. This is exactly what everybody wants to. To see giant volume spikes at the bottom. Notice the long lower wick. What does that mean, everyone? That's the load. This is the load. Big players loaded. They're ready to take this baby higher. Keep an eye on it. Okay, let's look at GLDFF. I'll finish it off here with a, kind of more of a, a lotto play that's heated up here. 
This is another legit uh, uh, um, marijuana company. They actually own, uh, like, I, I believe they're into the uh, concentrates. They're into the oils, and they own an Oregon uh, uh, marijuana company. And and so check it out. They closed above the 50-day simple moving average. For those of us that follow our uh, theories and, and strategies, we know that's a, a big bull signal. So it needs to stay above 15. That's the green line. If you see a break above 17 here this week, that's going to be a signal that wants to head higher. And this thing could possibly run back up here to this uh 300-day simple moving average at 25. That's the target if the momentum continues. If it fails to break the 100-day simple moving average, that's going to signal consolidation. Notice how it failed to break that level back here in uh, May and June, and it dropped further. So it has to get above that level to be a good play. And then the first level we're going to shoot for is the 200-day simple moving average at 21 cents. And then if you look here, there was a big volume spike behind the move. That's what really got our interest here on this stock. Okay, there you go. Those are the Canadian marijuana companies to have on your radar to to, to have in focus and to, uh, you know, to, uh, yeah. And, and just keep in mind that, that looking at these Canadian stocks, you know, when you look at uh, canopy growth here and you see this breakout and it hitting $17, just that that that's something that that you can look forward to when the United States finally legalizes federal marijuana and and then you can have US companies that have this kind of explosive growth and have companies like Constellation Brands taking 200 million dollar stakes you know so the US market is dwarfs the Canadian market so this is a good sign of things to come in the future okay thank you for viewing this video check us out at mychartcoach.com and our YouTube channel at mychartcoach.com thank you